Hey, there's some guys I don't feel bad about killing. Oh no 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 no! We're not using. We're not. We are not spending tranquilizer rounds on these guys. What the shit? Doink. I like how we were. He started to go through his. We've spotted the player bark, and then, then he died, and his buddy over there has not noticed in the slightest. Awesome. Awesome. Ah. I hit the non lethal takedown button on accident. Yes, oh well. Yes, I've told you everything. Everything? No. I think we will need more than that. Uh, have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming. Oop, I'll do that drink. I'll do that right now, actually. Thank you, sir. Unlock this one. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna let the, I'm just gonna let this play out and see what happens. I don't even like him that much. You gotta figure in these super secret bad guy organizations that would come up at least sometime. But I don't know what happened in Moscow. There was someone there, a man. Something he... Enough about this Thornton already. He's dead. Dead in Saudi Arabia. What about the shipment? Okay, you guys literally saw yeah, I escaped. Sure we weren't being followed. Oh man, Marbury's gonna be pissed. Okay, so this mess then. Oh, Cossacks. Should have seen Russia. Mother Russia. The hell so they, they were torturing a Russian guy and now there's a shootout between Marburg's men and the Russian mob. It says escalated quickly. Where's my... Where's my fun button? Here we go. Exercise break, huh? Fair enough. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll do that after this mission. Anyway. You can say the temperature here is going up a bit. Now, I think it's possible to get the Russian mob on your side if you're friends with Breko. And they'll actually be allied for this mission, but I've never actually done that, so I'm not 100% sure. This is here. Looks like they're being shipped somewhere. I can't remember if that's something I've actually heard or if that's just something like on the wiki or something. Anyway, this was supposed to be a stealth mission, but eh, fuck it. They started the noise first. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna join the party. I want to feel included. Does it? Practically speaking, all you gotta do is get in, get the information you're looking for, and get out. But, why do that when we can get experience for taking these guys down? Exactly. That's Hitman rules. Nobody can notice you if there's no one to notice you. Once again, they take a two stops to deal with. You know what? Let's do this. Oh, you're you are so lucky, my dude. I was very close to being lethal. Call that one the Dick Cheney special. <laughs> oh, that'll date the video. That's the info on Scarlet Lake.
Now, initially, we're not timed on this, but the police will eventually show up after a certain objective threshold is met. So you want to run around and loot the place in this before you actually finish the objective. <laughs> yeah, I believe that, actually. Like, prior to the whole invasion, one of my favorite Twitter accounts was just, like, No Context Russia. It's just crazy shit that seems to happen and go without comment there. Uh, man. Oh. You two need a timeout. Hey, hey, hey. Stay down. <laughs> Seriously. If he told me Florida man had emigrated from Russia, I would believe it. Or immigrated from Russia, I should say. Aw, oh, damn it. Of course we get this. Uh, three, four... Six. Damn it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Nice. Mike, the police channels are lighting up. Are you still at the warehouse? I interrupted a lethal question and answer session. Getting some additional data now. Well, the authorities are on their way. So whatever you need to do, you do. Almost done, but I won't know who they were torturing. Let me ID them and then I'm out of here. All right, but hurry. All right. Now I think you're officially under the gun. Mike, you've got less than a minute. Yeah. So if they're still shooting it out, that's when things got get complicated. ID. So it's a good idea There's to clear the place out. On it. Now get out of there. Done. Mike, get out of there. On it, on it, on it. Nice. The intel received from Marburg's villa reveals Marburg was leasing a small storehouse in the Aprilla industrial area on the south side of Rome. Also listed in the information was a scheduled delivery from Russian weapon dealers. Agent Thornton was sent to infiltrate, infiltrate the warehouse, secure evidence of the transaction, and get out without being detected. Thornton over arrived to overhear a man being interrogated. The man being interrogated was killed in the crossfire between the Russians and Marburg's men. After searching his body, Agent Thornton found his papers, and the man was identified as an arms merchant specializing in explosives and bombs. As a side effect, that also attracted the attention of local law enforcement. Marburg's men had their interrogation interrupted by a group of Russians, and the gun battle ensued. All right, we found a shipping payment in a duffel bag, and the local authorities converged on the scene, but Thornton escaped from being spotted. Combined with the information obtained from the ruins, the records from the warehouse should be enough to put together the pieces to, to Marburg's plan in Rome. And hopefully, his target. Alright, we're at the half... <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's a little bit um, iffy on whether it'll actually catch something. It, it, it doesn't get context very well. But anyway, yeah, uh, we will take a break. And actually, before we do this, I will explain something that is going to come up and has gameplay ramifications. Now, this game, surprisingly enough, in addition to its relationship values, does have a variety of waifus that Michael can woo. We've got our affections up with each of them that we can potentially woo them all, or we can choose one, or we can choose none. Surprisingly, there are perks for accepting or denying the advances of each one. So I will put this to chat. What are you in the mood to see? Do you want to see Mike go full harem route? Do you want him to stay loyal to Mina or pick one girl in particular? The other options are Z, Scarlet, and Madison. Or do you want to completely have him avoid romance altogether? Which, interestingly enough, also has a unique perk for it. I will leave that up to you, chat. In the meantime, time... Uh, let's do some crunches.
All right, and back. Now then, it looks like the tie is between Mina and Z. All right, so we're going to be sticking with... We are going to be a monogamous mic this time around. The question is, who are we monogamous towards? More on that in a minute. Yes, cast your votes, people. Scarlet, Z, Mina, or Madison. Madison. Actually, Madison's Madison. coming up right now, so we'll Here. probably have to exclude her. We will talk to her. Mike? Are you okay? Just tired. Thank you, sir. But I found what I was looking for. Was it enough? Can you take it to the authorities? No. If I do that, they won't respond in time. I have to do it. Hey, no, he actually took don't. his beanie off. Let the police handle this now. You can let them capture Marburg, expose his involvement. I appreciate the concern. And I appreciate you trying to warn me about Marburg. I didn't want him to kill you. You had such a nice smile in the photograph. I was smiling? Must have been years ago. There it is again. You should do that more. I try. The job gets in the way. I've heard that before. I didn't mean to wake you when I got in. We've had a rough couple days. You didn't wake me. I was waiting for you to come back. I meant to stay awake longer, but you were gone for a long time. I was worried something had happened to you. Hmm. I'm glad you're back. Good night, Madison. Rest up. We'll need to be ready for tomorrow. Wasn't yeah. sure if that would continue the dialogue or All not. Right, Mike. You could stay up here if you want. I'll be downstairs if you need it. Did that give me the perk? Yes! Anything on the news? Nothing about Marburg. Marburg was able to get the munitions into the country through Al Samad, but the warehouse was the destination of the bombs. He wasn't planning to destroy the warehouse, though, right? Was he planning to store the bombs there, use them later in Rome? See the TV kind of overlaying the subtitles the there, was on the outskirts of Rome. There's interfering with it. of other storage areas he could have used. So there was something special about that warehouse. It's inventory. It's mostly art and museum pieces, right? I could call up the inventory and see if there's any possible name or location connection. Were any of the warehouse pieces outbound through customs? Maybe he was. He's got his beanie on again too. Pieces. I doubt it. It looks like the pieces were intended for a museum. Like to think he left the room and then put it back on to watch oh. TV. Wait, no. Some of the pieces had already been shipped out. To where? I used to work part time in restoration in one of the museums. I may be able to help. It's actually part of the reason Marburg hired me. I think. You don't Marburg say. Marburg hired you because you used to work at a museum. Yeah. The <laughs> museum of art in Rome. Beanie, exactly. I think they have an exhibit on the Crusades showcase there now. Hey, the foreshadowing. Some of the pieces in that warehouse. I'm certain they were from that museum. He's going to bomb the museum, but why? I have no idea, but that's his target. I need to get there before he does. All right. Now then, uh, room sweep expert. Yes, don't mind if I do. I should probably get another rank of toughness. So I'm a little less squishy here. Alright, now, I appear to have missed a piece of information. It was possible to get a secret fact about Madison. I don't know if I might have gotten it already. Individual... Beanie or not to beanie? That is the question. That's his site of desire to study history. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it was possible to get her, uh, the. I think I might have ended that conversation early. I think there was one last node to uh, back out before the sex happened that would have further revealed who she was. Or I, I might have missed um, something. Or possibly because I didn't complete her dossier. Anyway, th there's a secret connection between Madison and Parker because she used his terminal. Y you can probably, just by bringing that up, you can probably guess it. But they've been foreshadowing it several times. Like, she was using his terminal, and we found his secret fact at Marburg's mansion, which is down here.
Okay, secret fact. Al Alan Parker has agreed to work with, with the Halbeck Corporation at the request of the privileged few in the U.S. government who know Alpha Protocol exists. He completely understands the reason for the alliance and no compulsions about or attempting to erase all evidence of the stolen Halbeck missiles in order to gain lucrative contracts for the United States in the future, nor any hesitation about erasing any agents that are in his way. Okay, so this is, this is spelling out that he is the member of Alpha Protocol working, working for Halbeck that knows exactly what he's working with. Yeah, the answer is maybe, apparently. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Mike, I spent the last few hours researching arms dealers in your area in order to figure out who might be involved with arming the al Samad cell in Rome. I came across a dealer that goes by the pseudonym The Turk that was more than happy to arm anyone that's put a bullet in an al, in an al Samad soldier. So, na so I naturally referred him to your clearinghouse member profile. Alright, cool. So now we get more goodies on here. All right. Okay, Z is willing to put you in touch with one of Marburg's less loyal henchmen. This turncoat is in the position to sabotage the effort to destroy the museum. All right, so the plan is to bomb the museum using we using weapons smuggled in through the warehouse where we were just at. So that was kind of the plan all along, and that's we need to gear up and stop this. Uh, we didn't really use too many explosives. But we will want to stock up. Because this will be the last mission in Rome. But yeah, it can be annoyingly hard to complete people's dossiers because it's not just information you buy in the clearinghouse, it's also stuff you find in the field. And given how often doors lock behind you... Uh, let's see... No, I think we just switched out for that. Given how often doors lock behind you... And the fact that it's not really possible to get that information any other way, it's very easy to miss certain secret facts about people. And that can limit your options with them, which is kind of annoying. I do broadly like what they do with what you can do with that information when you get it. Overall, I think this game does right by its characters and the broader plot. It's mostly the gameplay that it all hangs on where things get icky. And you can tell they're doing the best they can, given the limitations of the engine, but it's just not up to task a lot of the time. And that's a shame, because I do overall still like this game, even with its frustrating moments. But it comes with a whole host of caveats. Anyway, uh, it is time to intercept Marburg at the Museum of Art. Marburg and his men are attacking a museum in Rome in the guise of al Samad terrorists. They plan to set off a bomb inside the museum after evacuating their own forces through the underground tunnels. Stop Marburg and his soldiers, and disarm the bomb. Z puts you in touch with a, tra a traitor in Marburg's ranks. The explosives to be used in the plot to destroy the museum will take longer than detonate. I mean, you know, that's something. You require to map the museum with details on security. In we go. I'm in the museum. Mike, I just picked something up on the cameras. It's Marburg's men. They have Madison. Damn it. Alright. So, unfortunately, they got Madison despite our best efforts. Literally after we left the place. And, granted... Now that Marburg knows we're in Rome, and you know that we made a mess of his villa, I'm sure he's, I I'm sure he's spending all available resources trying to find us. Take a seat, sir. You know what? You should get out of this line of work. You should go and start your own fast food franchise. Call it Choke Villa. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Not quite on time for that, but, you know, inspiration strikes at the weirdest times. We'll want to keep things reasonably quiet for the moment. I assure you they will get noisy before long. <laughs> exactly. We need to let them eliminate the competition. I 
And that's the... Uh, that's actually the other remarkable thing about this game, is that how many characters can die and the story keeps on trucking. And we'll actually get into some really cool options in the end, end game, depending on who you've made friends with and who you finished off. Yeah, it's... very much a magic eye picture. If you struggle with those, it's not going to be a good time. <laughs> I consider myself something of a revolutionary. Call me Choke Guevara. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit too late, but you know what? You gotta let the puns out. You gotta share the cringe with the world. Go. Hacky hack. This room is going to be tricky to stealth. Down goes the point man. Ha <laughs> ha. Doink. Okay. Too tempting a target. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not always the best po policy. As tempting as it was to go loud there, we should probably thin out their numbers first. Right. A little hard to come up with flip puns, but I do have some lovely chop puns, if only I can get close to some people. Oh, there's a ladder over there, that'll do. Sneak. Ooh. Does it? Yeah, flip puns or kick puns. That's a tricky maneuver to come up with puns for. Unfortunately, he's kind of watching me, so I can't hit them from the side there. <laughs> you know, just having, just helping him catch some Bel Air. All right, let's uh, sneak up here. You didn't like Chop Guevara? How about Cesar Chavez? Oh, damn it, it's a choke. Damn it! Oh, yeah? Heard your kids home from school. Poor guy's got the choking pox. Ha <laughs> ha! Still got it. Alright. I got one of them. They are unfortunately annoyingly good at using explosives to flush you out of cover. Oh, come on! That guy didn't even have armor. Boss fights for this are gonna be fun. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. 
crack that flip. Get into shape. Devo is endlessly relevant. Here we go. You might say I'm a real chopular guy these days. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, fucking nailed that shit. Unfortunately, they are well packed together. So let's do this. What I need to do is use more traps more often. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. You do that, Judo, that you do so well. Alright, I need one of you guys to come over here. Come into the trap. Clearly, the thing with the holes in it is not providing adequate cover. For some mysterious reason. Alright. Come on! I set the trap over here for a reason. Come on, I want to bait one guy into a trap today. Uh, you're no fun. You try to liven things up and the guy just doesn't want to cooperate. Dacia right, and Alpha Protocol, interesting. Some people just don't appreciate a good performance. Uh... There you are. Damn it! Uh, shit. Here we go. Damn it! Wrong one. Just barely. Okay. Alright. Live asset. Attention. Slight change of plans. We have a live asset with us today, just in case our interloper shows up. Madison St. James to be taken to evac point Phi and held until code until go cord, go code orange. If she makes too much noise, she she's to be sedated. Under no circumstances is she to be injured unless you hear a change of orders, and that comes from Marburg. If anyone tries any funny business with a live asset, they'll be killed. Marburg's orders, Marburg's words, not mine. Right. Uh, let's see. I think that continues, right? Do we use the elevator? We do not. Anything else in here? I think that's it. Alright, onward. Thing. I think 
Do we have what we need on Marburg? Okay, there's one more bit of dossier, and I think we collect it here in the museum. Mina, is there anyone in the museum? It's normal hours. A few tour groups, security guards... Yeah, suddenly we're in the like water pipes tourists. room, I guess. But that's still a lot of people if the bomb goes off. I won't let it happen. Yeah, something tells me that Marburg's men don't have a lot of operational discipline. And, you know, that is part of his dossier, is that he expects loyalty, but doesn't really test for it very well. Now you can see his guys are... Not treating the security staff all that well. Their little terrorist plan. Oop. Have a nice flip. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we're hearing a lot of flushing now. Which, you know, you hear water going through, but depending on where the bathrooms are. Mike, you need to hurry. Uh -oh. Why? What's going on? It sounds like Marburg's men are attacking the security guards. Oh, shit. Security's outnumbered. They'll be slaughtered. Alright, so now they're in an open gun battle with security. <laughs> Suffice to say, security is badly outmatched on this. Yep, sorry, buddy. Hey, for effort. Yeah, no mercy for these guys. You might be right. I feel like that was them grabbing whatever sound effect they had on hand and going with that. Can I zoom? Here we go. Oh, yep, yep. It's a crit, but it didn't finish him. Okay, that looked like it went through his head. There we go. Okay. Alright. Nice of them to leave their eat another hackable laptop in this here cafe. Uh, there you are. Alright. For those who weren't paying attention at the briefing, that's a promising start. We have an insider man at the museum giving us access to the tunnel system that's normally used for moving valuable relics in the middle of the night. This will let us show up in the heart of the museum and circumvent the security. We rendezvous with, we rendezvous with Sigma Point and move through at H hour plus two. Eagle Team is responsible for keeping the museum crowd under control. Yes, yes, we know a nighttime mission would be easier, but the man upstairs wants broad daylight, so he'll get broad daylight. Falcon Team moves to Theta position. Raptor and Crane rotate and patrol between Chai, Epsilon, and Theta, theta points. Is that Chai or Kai? I can't remember. I think it's Chai. Cardinal team sets up payload at Omega Point. Vulture team delivers the airings to Epsilon. It's Chai, Epsilon, Theta, blah de blah de blah, Spy speak. When Cardinal team gives the yellow light, all personnel need to be ready to evacuate. Falcon, Raptor, and Crane use the tunnels. Eagle, Vulture, and Cardinal will switch to plain clothes and exit by the loading dock. Do not, under any circumstance, dip stances ditch your equipment thinking the blast will destroy the evidence. We're counting on the authorities being able to anal analyze the slightest scrap of incinerated material, thus Vulture Team placing the bodies. Stow your gear with you and drop nothing. Minimum safe distance is half a click. We suggest you get even farther away there's, uh, away, there's gonna be a lot of stone thrown about the area. Well, yeah, you know, when you're doing your secret plans, you might as well exploit the free Wi-Fi. But anyway, yeah, we have us a false flag attack. And I don't know if they spell it out, but... I think a, la I think a later laptop explains the final piece of the pub. Wrong button. There we go. 
Yeah, there's one more bit here involving Alsa Mod, why they, why they were involved specifically. Not just because of the weapons. Agent Thornton, you made it. Good. That makes things interesting. We right. have Madison. She's being held in the west wing of the museum. My men have orders to execute her. Well, that well. where your bombs are, too? No, the bombs are with me. At the Crusades exhibit. You won't have time to reach both. Either way, someone dies. You're right about that, Marburg. Why don't you stay put? I'll be right there. Left or right, Thornton? Your choice. Madison? Or coming after me and the bombs. There's not time for both. Mike, Madison. She's in the wing to your left, but the bombs are in the yeah, wing Yeah, pick it up right. on that, Mina. Which way should I go? I don't know, Mike. You'll have to make the call. But I don't think Marburg is bluffing. Yeah, he's deliberately twisting the knife at this point. Like, his whole thing is he kind of disdains the flashy, Bond-style, super-agent stuff. He respects you more if you're being professional, but he's setting this up. He's invoking the trope of the sadistic choice to taunt Thornton, and he will make good on that, unfortunately, so we have to choose between Madison or the bombs. But we did get one last bit of dossier on him, and I think that'll give us what we need for a special choice when we finally do fight him. Uh, let's see... Oh, here we go. Marburg is getting along in years, but he still trains in martial arts almost every morning after his 10-mile run. Opponents who think that getting in close is enough to take him down will be in for a shock. Marburg is, is exceptionally skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so unless an attacker is confident in their hand-to-hand -hand skills, a firefight has a chance of turning out better than a brawl will. The only time he's unlikely to outmaneuver or block an opponent is when he's reloading his pistol. Any other time, we'll have him ready and on his guard to take down opponents. Records indicate Marburg did not officially survive whatever happened in Pakistan, but he was clearly on a United States oper operation when the Pakistani incident took place. Whatever the mission's official name, someone matching Conrad's profile was serving, the role, serving a role for a black ops agency named Deus Volt. The results of the mission were disastrous enough that the files and all trace of the operation were destroyed. An entire Delta Force team was lost. Relations with Pakistan were nearly destroyed. Whatever took, pl whatever took place could have embarrassed the military and the administration of the world. So basically, yeah, he's ex-U.S. Special Forces. He was basically burned by his own government. And yet he's sort of, he sort of understands a patriotic agent a little bit better than a suave one. And because we've been getting his dislike down, we may be able to do something with him. Like, there is a dialogue option later where he might actually escape the fight and show up later. But if he hates you enough, you can talk him into staying. Mike, yeah, we're, sealed off the entrance to the other wing. We're going this after the bombs. Only one way to go now. Sorry, Madison. You did not win the waifu poll, so that sort of Mike, limits our options here. Interference on the channel, and judging from the frequencies. There's some proximity mines near your location. Oh, joy. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, I see him. Let's see if I can s sneak around, get close enough. Damn. No, I can't. Man, they got the whole thing locked off. Motherfucker. Damn it. Now these guys look like Al Samad terrorists, but I think the implication is they're supposed to be Marburg's men that have been that have dressed up. Like I said, it's a false flag attack. And I think they're actually leaving leaving behind bodies that will eventually be identified as Al Samad terrorists. But it might be misremembering. Damn! Okay. 
Yeah, I think what happens when you shoot someone is they go into a pain state, but that doesn't necessarily stop them from firing. Sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's not. It's hard to tell. And judging from the frequencies, there's some proximity mines near your location. I'll keep an eye out. Ah, fellow grenade enthusiasts, huh? How about that? I mean, you know, if they're gonna blow up the museum anyway, I don't see why they should get all the fun. I mean, I'm only gonna blow it up a little. That's different. Eh, uh, turrets, eh? Alright. Got yeah, one of them. And that's two. Let's see. Anything else up here? Don't think there is, no. Oop. There we go. I thought there was one more email. There it is. There we go. Jenkins, you're heading up Vulture Team. Make sure the make sure all the Alsamod corpses. Yeah, here we go. Are placed at the ops points indicated in the in the briefing. These points are calculated to be the right distance to char the bodies and foil a true cause of death autopsy, but still enough to keep flesh intact for a DNA screening. This shouldn't be a difficult task, but it needs to happen. The longer it takes the authorities to find the evidence, the longer it takes for the operation to actually work as magic. So yeah, they're basically framing Alsamod for the bombing. And they're going to use Halbeck to benefit from this. Or, or Halbeck's the one that's going to benefit from this. Presumably by... I think one of their plans mentioned that they're trying to sell, like, this... Like, information system, sort of like a, pr like a precursor to Prism or something. Oh shit, alright, we got a timer. Huh? Another detonation charge ready to go. I think one of them spotted me. Not yet, but possibly. There we go. Anyway, I think we finally get the point of this operation. Haha! <laughs> now we gotta stop it. Yeah, pretty much. Anything in here? Ooh, phosphorus rounds, excellent. And a grenade, don't mind if I do. they call in help. Awesome. Exactly, you know? My spicy boys. Let's see, I don't like the cut of your jib. Haha! <laughs> Alright. 
Actually, I should do this. Uh, sorry there, Mr. Security Guard man. But, you know, you're dead already, so you won't mind if I set a bomb right near your body, right? They're a good sport like that. Okay, surprisingly, that did not get attention. Now, hopefully... Setting off explosives near the bombs won't be a huge issue. <laughs> you know, it kind of does, yeah. Alright, was that everybody? Nope, nope, of course. There's always more of these guys. Botnium, exactly. The hardest substance on Earth. Alright, that's everything. Now. Uh, right. this. <laughs> Mike, get out of here. Marburg is... It's over. Let's that go. or Man of War. Do as he says. Speaking of Plotnium... Deus Vault. I mean, you know, don't try to help her or anything, Mike. You brought it on her. You pulled the trigger. Don't blame me. You made your choice. Don't give me that third-party bullshit, Marburg. I'm gonna kill you. Quickly, which is more than a coward who shoots women in the back deserves. I may give you that chance, Thornton. If only to further your Oh yeah, education. he's deliberately doing this just to be the evil guy. I'm impressed. You stayed focused, carried out your mission, disarmed the bombs, and left her for last. I didn't think you had it in you. Is it a compliment? Spare me, considering your acts of bravery praised as an insult. Very well. Uh, your choice, the hostage or the bomb... Was a spur of the moment decision? Something left a chance. Yeah, well, you see, it was no, a plot bullet. You were and enough, plot both. bullets, the as you know, easy. are you? instantly yeah, lethal. Yeah, they act basically yeah. like. I've had just about enough. They basically act arrogance. like real bullets, but even no, more so. Even more dangerous. You shoot a defenseless woman in the back and think it means you can take me out, too. Did you really think this exhibit was worth protecting? The other bullets are rub The gameplay bullets are I'm rubbish curious. bullets. Why did you choose the bomb? Because you and your company are douchebags? Oh, and the fact you guys like to kill people to keep the profit margin up well. Who wouldn't want to mess with you guys? I see. No, guys like you never see until it's too late. I'm gonna make sure you answer Well, there you go, yeah. Marburg, count on it. Oh, the choices... We could start the fight right away. ...to make every day. The choice of saving the innocent you know... But this does let, give you time to let your cooldowns hundreds, recharge. Even thousands of possible innocents. And also we're getting his reputation down for a reason. James would say about that. Because it needs to be just negative enough. Are you ready to die? Why do you steal all my lines? 
Thought you could hide. All right. Anyway, Stay boss focused. fight time. Watch yourself. Now, unfortunately, Marburg is very much a practical villain outside of uh, the whole plan. So he's going to stay in cover the whole time. There's nowhere to run towards. Unless we kill his men. I've killed far better agents than you. For some reason I couldn't throw a grenade for cover, that was annoying. God damn. Discretion is the better part of valor. Mike, why are you reloading? I did not give you that order. Right, there's one down. So yeah, he'll stay at a distance until you take out his men, at which point he will rush you. Which is itself fairly dangerous. That's assuming we live long enough. Yeah, his men aren't terribly loyal to him, is the thing. Like, they like the killing, they'll follow orders. But that does not translate to loyalty to him. Right, definitely time for... a war crime bullets. Thought you could hide. Yeah, this is not really... This is not effective villainy, really. Damn it. My men! You pay for that! So yeah, this gets him to break cover and run for you. And unfortunately, because I was already near death, that's a huge problem. Yeah, this is where weaknesses in the build start to the better part of valor. make themselves apparent. If you're not specced for Thought you could take person directly taking a lot of damage. You're gonna suffer in this. Like, if you got chain shot, you can break this these fights in half. You know, you to you. I was specifically trying not to, because I think it's kind of cheap. But I am forgetting just how not fun these bosses are in a mechanical sense. There's nowhere to run, Lord. Yeah, this is a game that is a very strong argument for a story difficulty. Damn. Yeah, that's probably the larger issue. It's... Trying to be a spy RPG and also a Choices Matter RPG and also a standard action game. And it's not terribly... It, it succeeds at some better than the others. It is definitely more than the sum of its parts. But you have to be willing to forgive the deficiencies in its design. And there are more than a few. You can. In fact, let's do this. God damn it. Hardly seems sporting to kill someone as inexperienced. Oh. Fuck! Passed out for me. <laughs> yeah, see, trying to throw it from cover just makes it stick to the thing you're having cover on. This is a really, really badly designed arena. There's nowhere to run, or... Jesus. We will eventually get this, but this is going to require a lot, and I mean a lot, of cheesing. Can't go past the rope line. That's cheating. Yeah, knee-high barrier, exactly. Oh, god damn! Mike, stop sticking to cover. I need you to fucking move, man. Alright. You, I kill. Yay, another incendiary grenade. Outstanding. Oh, come on! Might be able to use the incendiaries to stun lock his men. Without killing them, so he doesn't rush us. Okay, he's just shooting Madison right there. Check it out. He's shooting the spot where the flashbang landed. 
I mean, you know. Eh, whatever. This game is a jank fest. Sometimes it's endearing, sometimes it's obnoxious. Keep on struggling. Okay. That is the plan, sir. Oh, come on. Still, you little shit given. Oh, come on! All the words of mice and men, the saddest star, what might have been. There is a universe where you can make this work, but they did not. Alright, I'm running out of shit to throw at these guys. God damn it. Alright, wait for the firebomb to go off. Oh, well. Most men would have passed. Jesus. There is no fucking cover in this game. In this arena. Alright. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, hey, Orange! You're just in time to watch me die repeatedly. Good to see you. How's it going tonight? I've killed far better agents than you. <laughs> You're playing Bug Snacks tonight, right? How's it going? Almost. I'm in. <laughs> Shit. You pay for that? Um. Discretion is a better part of valor. Near the end? Nice. Yeah. Hey, here we go, Expected finally. More from a self appointed hero. Thank God. You are disposable and obsolete. Says the corporate tool who answers to Leyland. I work for Halbeck. You... You're a man without a country, Thornton. You're me, 20 years ago. What's that in dog years? Even if you escape, I know how your story ends. Keep talking. Let's me know where to shoot. Enough of this. Damn it! Ah! Uh. See, this is the frustrating thing. There's nothing you can do now, Mike. Get out of there. There'll be another time. I was hoping for the chance to finish him off, but that's probably for the best. <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, yeah. Marburg and his men plan to attack a museum in Rome in the guise of Al Samad terrorists, setting off a bomb inside the museum and then escaping through underground tunnels. Their goal is to blame the terrorist attack on Al Samad, create enough civil unrest for Halbeck to capitalize on the climate of fear generated by the attack. Agent Thornton and Marburg traded gunfire, but Marburg escaped during the fight. He'll likely resurface in the future, causing f further problems stopping Halbeck. Okay, here's the thing. If you have enough negative rep with him, and you consistently pick suave options, and you have his dossier completed, you can taunt him into staying and finishing the fight. And if you don't, there's a risk you might lose out on the chance to kill him entirely. There is another way to get him to fight, but that relies on getting the dossier from getting Madison's complete dossier. So I think I think he might have just fucked me here. And that's that's a huge problem. Cuz I was hoping to finish him off here, but you know, given how given he was kicking my ass, that's probably for the best. Anyway,